Hello everyone, this is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. Today we're visiting another uh, card shop. And this is a new card shop in Coral Springs that just opened a couple weeks ago. It's called the Sports Card Vault. And um, they are, here's their card. They're right off the Coral Springs off a of sample road. So you can check them out. So I guess they just opened. Here's a place here. Down. That's the storm, so let's back up here. To him. He said they were opening, so I figured let me go check them out. That's their store hours. That's their place here. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. And this is what it looks like inside. Real nice. It's real nice. Brand new. Just opened. She just opened too this morning, so the first customer here. But I'll give you a good shot of what they got here. They got the boxes and Zion cases and everything else, supplies. They've got some cards here. Take you through some of the cards they got over here. A lot of basketball, Jordans, Kobe's. They got some more things here. You know, Dan Marino collection there. That's my favorite player. Some more cards in here. Let's see what they got. A little bit of everything. They just opened a couple weeks ago, so they're not going to be fully stocked right now. But um, they're looking for more cards, and that's what she, I guess he's not here right now. He's doing that. So there's some of the uh, Kellogg's set. 3D. See, that's a better shot of it there. Got a few vintage cards in here, but she knows what I collect. So he's got this, it says new arrivals. So anytime they get new stuff in, they'll put it on here. So you get a good shot of those. Got some vintage basketball there. You got some. Uh... Unopened shell here. In the Zion, you got 85 top set. A few other little sets. Unopened marble back there. Other basketball sets, more on up and cello, old vintage stuff, which is good stuff. And uh, go take a look at things. I love what they did here, where they have a display for the cards, and you can sit down here and take a look at the cards. So it's a beautiful display they've done here, and here's some more cards they got over here. So you guys can take a good look at what they got. Like I said, it's still. Some of them are empty because they just opened a couple weeks ago. Um, I met the uh, owner at one of the card uh, shows and he told me they were open. So I figured let me come by and take a look at it. She's got some poke gun here. It's got a little bit of everything. Got some football. You guys can take a look at what the store looks like. And they just opened, so they don't have everything, but they got a little bit of everything. So you got a lot of hockey here. The soccer. You got pretty much a little bit of everything and a lot of wax, guys. A lot of wax. That's what everybody's interested in, so you got a lot of it here. Anything you need as far as wax, it's here. By the box, by the packs. So I'll give you a quick look at what they've got. They're here in Coral Springs. So if you're anywhere near this place, you can come by and check it out. I'm about 40 minutes away from here. So it's not too bad. But you got a lot of slabs there. A lot of Pokemon here. 
got the Japanese Pokemon, you got pretty much everything that you want here. Okay, and there's the rest of the uh, Pokemon displays. I'll go through a little bit so you guys can see what they got in there. And then you got all of the boxes, the blaster, the rock boxes, and everything else. So I got those uh, Pokemon stuff. You know, I don't do a lot of Pokemon, but I have a lot of people watching my videos that do. So I'll make sure that uh, I'll put these so you guys can take a good look at what they got. Got some packs here. And you got some more Pokemon. And you got some wrestling cards back in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the rest of the uh, store here. The rest of the cases here. It's got a lot of... Uh, leave you out of the video. <laughs> so I got a lot, we got a lot of uh, wax here. Tons of wax boxes. Tons. What do you have over there? Anything else over there? Oh yeah, check those rooms out. They're oh really yeah. Good. You got another room back in the back here so you can see it through the window. But I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. So looks like you got some more stuff back here. Oh yeah, you got some nice stuff back here. Uh, nice little room back here. I'll show you a quick look at this room. Got some nice stuff here. A little bit better stuff. All the vintage. A lot of vintage stuff here. Check this out. A lot of vintage cards. A lot of vintage packs. Those are always a fun rip. A lot of a lot more vintage down here. Give you guys a good look here. But they got it. Give you a good tour of this place. Got a lot of all these, this is all, all Kobe cards here. All Kobe. And you got Kobe and Michael. Beautiful picture there. And then you got Michael cards over here, all the Jordan cards. Real nice setup. He's done here. So nice little room here. It has a lot of nice higher end stuff in here. Got the vintage, Bird, Dr. J. Got some autographs there. Got some football here, football rookies. Got some nice football rookies here. So, that's Marino. Montana, Jerry Rice rookie. Got some Kobe's, more rookies in here, some Shacks. A little bit of everything, guys. I said a real nice shop. Got a good selection here. There's some Ripper rookies, Maddox, and Smokes, and Tommy rookies. Show you another one of the cases. Has a Hall of Fame case here. Got some World Series tickets. Oh, I got those. I went to that game. That was the Marlins. And then I've got, they've got a nice Ricky autograph, a Ripken, a little bit more of everything here. Just more baseball. It's got a range real nice with the baseball together, the football together, and then the center here is the uh, Tiger and golf. And we've got everything here. And the Gretzky. So that's that's the store, guys. So what he's got here. We walk out to the main area. Got Brady. Got some more stuff in the back. So we got some more stuff here. Another nice room in the back here with a nicer display. Real, real nice. Here he's got more of his. Uh, this is more the vintage area here, so we're hitting the vintage part here with the hockey. I said it's a nice room, divided up real nicely. There's some more football. So it's got a lot of uh, vintage. There's a card I'm looking for right there, the branch room. I need that for my set. A real nice setup here, how he's got this set up. I'm going to give you guys a good look at it. 
got the picture scene, he's got a TV in all of these rooms here. Hang out here. Take a look at some of his stuff. He's got a World Series program. He's got these uh, caps real pins. Can't get a good look at it because they're glare, but got some pins there. Got the old uh, World Series program. And here comes some of the stuff that I enjoy looking at the vintage. That's the 64 Giants, Soft Giants. He's got here some of the uh, vintage. As such, there was a residue of bitterness. Perhaps best nice exemplified by the nice, owner uh, of the New York Giants unusual. and their fiery manager, John McGraw. The next year, look at that the national league champion, New York Giants, nice. McGraw's first banner winner, had a number of refused TV here, some to accept the, the challenge uh, from the upstart American League. Some more vintage, this some nice vintage, vintage so cards here. That's a man the here. same owner of the Giants, John Brush. Very then nice rules, rules for how a World Series nice should mantle. be played, and those rules exist to this day. Mantle. And so, in 1905, the World Series, nice as now know it, finally got underway. And he's got some Colfax and Mays here. And then uh, I've got a few more over here. It was the biggest sporting event in America at that time. So he's got a nice... Nice cards here. And he's got some vintage sets that he's selling also. And I'll put that here for you. So he's got some vintage sets for sale. Want to take a look at that? So if you're interested in sets, that's what he's got. Anyway, guys, that's uh, pretty much it. This is the vintage room. We got a little bit more here. I didn't show you, and I'm going to finish it off by showing this uh, rare Tony Maggio photo. It's an original photo. You can get a better look at it. Here's some vintage, uh, original series pin press, collins, press collection. So these are all World Series pins. Take a look at the World Series pin collection they got here. Really neat stuff. Really, really nice stuff. One of my favorites here, Yogi. His book, autograph book, Yogi Bear. And he got some uh, 68 pin crane pin baseball set here so nice stuff guys this is a vintage room in here really liked it really really nice little shop got a nice little setup here with the two rooms this is more of the vintage room here and then this is more of the uh, modern room which is the one I showed you earlier so that's the other room so super nice shop super modern got a little bit of everything guys one more look here so I show you from the uh, from the door that you can see everything he's got on here. And I like all that area back there where he's got the vintage and he's got everything also. Guys, this is it. I'll get that picture of Kobe and so anyway guys, this is the uh, that's a video of the sports card vault located at uh, 9800 West Sample Road, Cold Spring, Florida. So give him a call, give him a look. And check them out if you're in the area. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. This is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. Everyone have an awesome day. And please uh, like and subscribe.